559 for Helene. I brought a rack. It's actually a rack kind of folded adjustable. And I've got it set up for a 26 inch cutter. I already have the canopy adapter on it. is I'm going to take this uh, plastic uh, derailleur end cap off, just a plastic plug that uh, will pop out of there, we'll remove that so we can put our quick disconnect in, and when you're putting this in, make sure this little button is pushed in so that the lever is over here, so when you're turning it, you don't dimple this little plastic plunger, because if it's dimpled, It'll go down in there and it won't pop back out. But so just go ahead and trip that, and let's see if we did. And that's a pretty good fit for the first time. But uh, it's snug, and if it's snug like that, if you wind it as you push it in, and we're going to be leaving about a sixteenth of an inch of rubber bung showing underneath here so when this is pinched down it'll make like a little gasket so that we won't have metal to metal contact. Most of the people prefer the lever on the downside or six o'clock position. It's just easier to get to perhaps from the seat. So our bung and our quick disconnect is installed. When you've got a Cat Trike 559, there's concern with this back rack and the front brace for this back rack and where it should go in relationship to this uh, this little snubber down here. And it appears, connecting it up here at the top, it can either go in front of or behind. Now I will say that this is a longer this is a longer stay than comes with the uh, the rack time fold to 26. So this will have to be longer than what is supplied. But I just wanted you to see that we can go in front of or behind of this rubber snubber, which is, it acts like a like a little foot when, uh, when the folded trike is, is laid down. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna unfold it. When we've got it uh, like this, you can see what I've done here. There was a uh, flag holder that was mounted to the frame. I had to remove that in order to attach the rack. Then I moved the flag holder up on the rack, and you can see the length of hardware pretty nicely in there. You see the far side, we've got a, a full nut on the fender brace. The flag mount that's actually now part of the, uh, the rack foot, and uh, that was not touched, that was part of the, uh, the rack. So, that's what we have with a rack time 26 on a Cat Track 559 folded. Let's put the brace on. It's kind of an overview of what we've accomplished thus far. We've got, we've got a rack on back here, and I don't have any rod stiffers on the back. And I like that line. It's a nice, pleasant line. I've got about six or maybe even seven inches of rod sticking down below the V-block. And I've shortened the, uh, the front rods. I'll have to get a measurement on that. And we're about to fit it. Hold that windshield up there just kind of about where it goes. We've got a windshield we're going to be fitting on that. Uh, we're still working on, on the tuning of this, this top. In fact, these rods have not even been tightened back there. I'm still pulling them through. But I think she's got about uh, two inches above her helmet to the top. And I think that's looking pretty good. So that's that's an overview of where we are. We've got everything adjusted. And we're going to take it for a little spin before we put the windshield on.
Take it for a little spin and uh, see what you think. Okie dokie. And uh, we'll put a windshield on it. She's had that truck since Saturday. So what do you do? Do you put the canopies? Yep, I'm a canopy guy. Okay. Uh, she's having a ball now. She's my try to get back. She's got one side. And that Lexan is, is just optically uh, very clear, very clear material, very hard to work with. Bending, bending wise. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Perfect. Okay, we've got the windshield on the lean strike. That is really, really bad. You are really. I don't have a stick ready for you, but just be warned, okay? If these guys up here start attacking you because you've got a canopy, just be warned. You need oh, a stick. <laughs> I want the roof. We just put that on her. I want to get a picture of one of them. You may put one of them on yours, right? Oh. Yeah. You're too bad. You're a bad girl. <laughs> That's called the canopy smile. I'm coming in, honey. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go catch a bite to eat and come back and ride. Uh, that's a standard windshield right there. Uh, the custom windshield is custom because it comes all the way down at the bottom and that length, that length will vary. I just put my flags up. I think it's going to be the little Coochie Trail. If you ask me how I hold this camera, we're just about. Sometimes I film things I don't even know what I've captured. Until after. Until afterwards. And this is absolutely awesome. Helene's got a new, uh, new canopy. Actually, it's the first windshield, commercial windshield, from what I would call a standard. Could use a little bit more clearance over there. Let me see, we've got about eight inches of rod sticking down here in the back. We're gonna leave them long. She's got the flag bar, the light bar up the top. And you'll see some masking tape on those two center rods and the lower part of the flag rod. We just painted the end, so we're letting them dry. The tape can come off now or later. 
for the gear rock, gear wreck. She hadn't asked me what all those holes are for up there on the top of her windshield. That's going to be a surprise when we get back to me when we figure out what they're for. <laughs> oh, don't know what it's for, huh? There's actually accessories that can be strapped on up there. So, anyway, we're out here on the little coochie in the Foral City. Just left the trail side bikes where they allowed us to uh, install the canopy. And that's where a lot of the flags come from today. <laughs> she had one, one of the spiral flags and uh, I cut two rods for her, so she had to go back and get another spiral flag. It looks nice. I'm gonna let you ride up ahead just a little bit. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna capture your flag detail here. You see where the blue flag in the middle kind of they're not as vivid as those sp spiral jobs flying around. The noise you hear, my windshield's banging down at the bottom. Detailing on how I did the, uh, the bottom of the rack. This is a rack time folded adjustable That's for 24, 6, or 28. See, I've got it in the 26 inch holes down there. I had to relocate the uh, fender supports and also replace the uh, flag holders that were on the trike when she bought it. So I put them on actually with the rack. Not necessarily trike frame. And again, these are a little longer stays on the front than came with the rack. And being in the wrong gear. Go ahead and get behind me, get behind me. Hey guy. Hey guy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay.
Holy small, yeah. We're gonna, yeah, we'll head on back. Spur 30 be 530. I'm going to hand you the camera. What? It's it's running, and whatever you see in there is what you're going to. Once you grab it up here at the top, there you go. Oh, and, this is uh, nifty. And whatever you see is it's it's photographing, but you can photograph me. Nobody gets to see Ed. <laughs> well, we want to see Ed. And when they finally do, they'll there'll be no question about why they don't want to see it again. Okay. Anyway, we're out here on the West Lacoochee, and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be stopping here real soon, though. We're we're, we're out of an hour, probably about seven miles. Casual riding. And it's time to uh, time to go home. Anyway, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm gonna get in front of you and, go and get you get you going backwards. Oh, <laughs> oh this is fun. Oh, well, into the nice thing that, that uh, happened. Another nice thing that happened today <laughs> by having the install here at the uh, Trailside Bikes. Uh, those flags came from Trailside. I talked to several regular uh, Trailside bike uh, clients who brought their trikes by for service and so forth. And not only did they have an interest perhaps in canopies, uh, I think it was reassuring to that I let them know that if they're interested, that I'll be happy to come back. Uh, having a clinic like this is really nice. I have to be going on a ride this Sunday, so I'm kind of in the neighborhood, and I'm also picking up some tinted visor and windshield material in Orlando, which is in 4 by 8 sheet form, so I've got a place in my trailer to haul it. So I've got an install material pickup and a ride to do this weekend. So we're on the width of the Gucci. No, it's fine. I, I, was, I was looking for some flowers. Now we're exchanging some trail etiquette. as well. Parking area here. 
pleased with the way these these came out. These are one inch Adele clamps with the standard hardware that came with the original brace, although this brace or stay is longer than the original. I did not cut any off. I'll have to check and see what that was. It wasn't labeled on the bag it came in. The little rubber pieces came originally with the rack. The original stays were about two inches shorter, so these will need to be longer. And that's what, uh, that's what a 26 inch rack time folded adjustable looks like. The adjustable is in this part right here. This bracket can be a 24, 26, or a 28. Standard adapter. Standard up front. She's ready to go. She's got a trike. Now she has a trike and a canopy spot. <laughs>